MedXL provides healthcare facility services and works with 140 hospitals throughout the country. But hospitals in the path of totality have been a laser focus for the company. In Indiana, MedXL is working with two major hospitals in the path, one in Indianapolis and one in Evansville. And this is the first time MedXL has ever prepped for a total solar eclipse. For two to four minutes, much of Indiana will have the best seat in the cosmos. But it's just a few minutes of time, right? And we've been planning for a year for just a few minutes of time, but that's what our team does. Public safety experts say local population could triple or quadruple for communities in the path of totality. And that means hospitals must be ready for more patients than normal. And traffic is top of mind too. More cars mean more accidents, and traffic could even come to a stop during the eclipse. The gridlock we may see and the crowding we may see from the solar eclipse is the equivalent of 17 NFL games um, ending at the same time and people departing. 17. I mean, just imagine the gridlock we get just from having a Colts game and you multiply that by 17. MedXL has drawn up plans for a major hospital in Indianapolis and Evansville to make sure medical staff can get to work for their shift and emergency teams can transport patients. If the gridlock is that bad, we potentially could land a helicopter that could take the patients to our hospitals uh, or one of the other local hospitals. And that's the mantra for medical teams, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. As a matter of fact, the process we use to plan for the solar eclipse is a similar process we use to plan for hurricanes in, with our hospitals in Florida. But what we really do is we plan for what we think will happen and then knowing that it could go to either a higher extreme or a lower extreme. Cormier says they're experts in emergencies, so they also know how to make sure a hospital building is ready. So simple things like having our supplies, our food, and our medications delivered the day before to make sure they don't caught, be caught in a traffic jam, or even bringing our associates in early to make sure that they're there for their shift is going to be very important to us. MedXL says staff will be ready for run-of-the-mill minor injuries and also mental health. There are some groups and organizations that feel that a uh, total solar eclipse signals the end of the world or other sort of catastrophe. We prepare for people that may have some mental health issues um, and may need some coaching and counseling through that. And this is a first because hospitals are often the tallest buildings in a community. And so as people try to seek out the best viewing spot for the eclipse, they may try to choose the roofs of our buildings. We're not going to have access to the roofs of our buildings nor to the top of our parking garages. With hospitals also in Fishers, Carmel, and Anderson, MedXL says it's confident the eclipse will be safe. We just didn't plan and practice with one or two hospitals. We did it with all of our sites across Indiana. It's definitely one for the history books, and we're excited that Indiana is a part of the uh, path of totality. And that path of totality includes many rural areas where leaders say population could double the day of the eclipse. So MedXL says it's critical that rural hospitals are also ready. Lots of preparation before. Yes. How about the day of? What does MedXL, MedXL plan to do the day of the eclipse? This is really cool. They actually set up a national command center right here at their headquarters in Indianapolis where they're in touch with all of the hospitals that are in the path throughout the country. It's interesting. They have another really big hospital in Waco, Texas also in the path of totality, so they'll be watching Waco just as closely as they're watching these hospitals in Indiana. And they have all of their heads of their leadership team in this room, so he says they can make really big decisions really fast if they need to. Interesting, right here in Indianapolis. That's right. Thanks, Kylie.